And, and uh, relating that to Spring Health, you have this service, so you, you have customers that are receiving the water, but then who is providing that water? The, those are local entrepreneurs. How does, how does that part work? You're, you're catching water, you're filtering it, uh, chlorinating and filtering it, and then that's being distributed. And, and who owns that aspect? Okay, so we formed uh, a company uh, called Windhorse. That's the, that's the holding company in Denver. Uh, which I and investors own a majority interest in. That in turn owns a majority interest in Spring Health, which is a company incorporated in India. Okay. Uh, and the people who run that company are all from India. And all of our staff are from the villages that we serve. So that the CEO of that company is Kishan Nanavati, who previously ran uh, a system that uh, provided uh, uh, 25,000 uh, uh, shops uh, selling a certain good in, in India. So he knows how things work at the village. Uh, and and uh, the, uh, we operate currently through some 210 village enterprises, which are the shopkeepers. Those are mom and pop little shops that sell uh, everything from bubble gum to uh, uh, um, maybe cigarettes. Uh, uh, it, it's a, it's a 100 size 7-Eleven uh, right. in a village in India, owned by an uh, Indian entrepreneur. Right. The Indian entrepreneur is our partner. Then we have uh, Spring Health has uh, some 53 staff. They're all Indian staff. Perfect. Perfect. The CEO is Indian. Jacob Matthew is a, a, a really design entrepreneur in India. He's one of the founders of Idiom Design, which is, I consider, to be a top uh, design firm globally. Uh, and so he's part of the board. Uh, we have a board members who are Indian, and uh, also uh, I'm chairman of the board. That's my role. Excellent. But all of our staff on the ground are from India, and we hire people from the villages that we serve, and Kishan is the CEO. Right. And, and you're dealing with that last kilometer problem, similar to how Pepsi did, where you're, you're working through these, these local small shops that already existed to be the, the distribution centers. Oh yes, absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. then, and then the, that shopkeeper in turn hires a, a rickshaw, a bicycle rickshaw, right. who then uh, can carry thirty jerry cans filled with water. And each of these jerry cans, uh, Jacob and Idiom Design designed as sort of a space age looking. It's not just an ordinary jerry can. He wanted to make it look. Classy. Right. Uh, so uh, aspirational branding is built into every step. Nice. And, uh, and did you have any rickshaw drivers helping to understand the design elements of, of that jerry can? Not really. Okay. Uh, the, 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 well, Idiom Design is an all Indian firm, so they're used to incorporating the opinions of people and uh, uh, shooting for something that looks classy to them right, right. into the design. And then, then uh, the normal design process is you build a prototype, you see what people think of it, if they don't like it, you modify it. It's, it's a process of ongoing communication and adaptation. And, and in fact, that jerry can has some problems which we're fixing, but, but that's an ongoing process. So that's the jerry can. So now the shopkeeper uh, either has his or her own bicycle rickshaw and delivers the water to people's homes. And now we're experimenting with uh, auto rickshaws, which are these, uh, which, which can carry uh, as many as a hundred jerry cans. So it's, it's a constantly evolving process. Excellent. And now that we have a certain degree of market penetration in each village, 
we're experimenting with marketing and distribution techniques to increase our market penetration in each village. Well, I, I love it. I love how many existing structures you're already using, you know, not trying to reinvent shops and the whole, the whole structure, using local people, iterative design. I, I, I think it's all fantastic.